Now, in this question, we want to know what species has 28 protons and 26 electrons. So, to do this problem, we need to know that the number of protons, that's going to determine the atom that we're talking about. So, what determines the atom. And it's also sometimes called the atomic number. So, I'll write atomic number. You also might see something called a Z number, and that means the same thing. The Z number and the atomic number are the same thing. And the other part that you gotta know is the number of electrons. So I write the number of electrons, and that's going to determine the charge. So the number of electrons will determine the charge, and the number of protons determines the atom. And so if we look here and we see that we got 28 protons, um, if we go to the periodic table, we can see which um, element on the periodic table is going to have an atomic number of 28. And when we do that, we're going to see it's going to be Ni or nickel. And it looks like this. We got 28 up top, and then we'll have a nickel there for Ni. And then we got this 58.69 like this. So this is what it looks like on the periodic table. And this number right in here is going to be the uh, number of protons. So here is the number of Proton. So this would be Ni. So I'll write that this is going to be Ni. And then the number of electrons right in here, well, that's going to tell us the charge. And so if we have 28 protons and 26 electrons, we do something like this. We can say that we got 28 um, protons and then we got uh, this 26 electrons in here. And when we go to subtract the two, we're going to see that we got a. Um, a two uh, plus charge right in here. Remember, protons are positive, electrons are negative. So you can always just subtract the two and then see which one's more, and that's gonna determine the charge. So if we, if we had more electrons, this would be a negative charge. But because we have more protons, that's why this right here is gonna be a positive charge. And so don't just always subtract them and then and just go with the number, because it's gonna, it's gonna depend on which number you put first. So make sure that the protons are the positive and electrons are going to be negative and you subtract them and the one that's more the one that's going to be in excess that's going to tell you the charge so this is going to be ni with a two uh, plus charge right in here